Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make the twisted herringbone rope or tube and make it into earrings. Of course, when you continue this pattern, you could definitely make a beautiful bracelet just with a larger diameter. And don't worry if you're not familiar with this stitch, I'm showing really easy and slowly and even if you are a beginner, I guess you will be able to make it by yourself. If not, you could always ask me anything in the comments or on my Facebook page and I'll try to answer to all of your questions. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week and you will know when I make matching tutorials to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks works where you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. By the way, if you are a regular viewer and you don't want to listen to this intro, now you could skip it because I have timestamps. So now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three contrasting colors of 11 o seed beads. You could use 10 o seed beads or you could use 8 o seed beads even and here I'm using earring findings. This is Nymo nylon thread which is size D. The thickness is 0.2 millimeters and I stretch it before I use it. If you want to know more about the different threads uh, you could check this tutorial at the eye icon here. And I use size 10 beading needle. You could use size 11 or 12. It's up to you and scissors. If you want to make this project with one piece of thread, you should take, let's say, about eight or nine feet of thread, which is about 2.4, 2.5 meters. If you want, you could do it with two or more pieces, and then you're going to need to add a new thread, which I'm showing in a lot of my tutorials. If you're not familiar, write me in the comments too tell you how to add more thread to a project. I will take my thread on my needle and I will start. Okay guys, and now I'm starting with the famous twisted herringbone rope or tube. And uh, I will call these colors A, B and C to be easier to work with them. So my first color or the yellow color, I will call the A color or the first color. I'm going to slide it down just like this, two of those beads. And as I'm exiting through one of them, I will go through the other one in circle. Okay. Here I will leave a small tail because later I will put my needle on it and uh, I will finish my project. I'll show you how. Okay, so I have those two beads next to each other. Then I'm going again through the first one. Okay, the first row is a little bit tricky, then it gets easier. Okay, now I'm taking my color B, which is this green, and I'm going here through this yellow, back in circle again. And as you may see, I have something like a loop between those beads, okay? Then I go again through the green one. I take another green, I will take two of each color. Okay, like this. And guess what? I'm going back through the second green. In the same way, I start a regular herringbone tube, which is uh, really pretty, but not that fun. Okay, so now I'm taking orange bead going back through the green okay and then through the orange then one more orange and i'm going here and then guess what i'm going again through this orange bead which is the last one of my row 
Okay, and what I do next is that I want to connect this C color with this A color, making uh, them stay in a circle, okay, or in a cube. Now, as I'm exiting through this C color or orange color, I'm going through the yellow or my first or A color, okay. I go like this, you see, from one through the other. And then I go back one more time here. I make here a loop between them and pull this loop like this, connecting it. You see now what I have, the beginning of my tube and now I'm exiting out of this yellow. Okay. Now you see what I have here and from here on guys, I will start my herringbone. I'm taking two yellow beads and as I'm exiting through from one of my yellows, I'm going through the other one. Okay. If you're not familiar with the herringbone, this is what it is, the regular herringbone. But now we're making it in a tubular shape. That is why we are making three rows of herringbone that are connected. And we are also making a twist. Okay. Now I go through this orange, take two, and go here. Now take a look at what we have here, here, and here. Now we will continue with our work. Okay, I'm exiting out of this orange here. But we will make the familiar twist that makes it into a twisted herringbone. Okay, as I'm exiting here, two orange beads in this direction, I'm going the, through the diagonal of my color A, like this. Or I'm going through one bead in this direction. Okay. Then I will repeat it. I'm taking two beads here. And I'm going through two beads in this direction as well. Okay. Counting from here, I'm going through three beads. Okay. So now I'm not going through this one. If I go through this one, I will have a regular herringbone tube. But I want to go through the one that's the last one of my green or B color. And in a diagonal to make the twist that you will see later. Then I'm taking two green beads and I go through two greens in this direction. So the rule is go through two in this direction and through one in the other direction. Okay. Now I go in a diagonal and through the orange one and through only one bead. You see what I do? I hope you can see. Then I take two orange beads and again I go through two beads in this direction. Always go through two beads in this direction. And there is the second rule. When you reach your color A, you again go diagonally here through this seed bead, but you also go through the next one because you step up in your next row. And only at the last step, in fact, you go through two beads. Again, you make the twist skipping this one here at the bottom, but then you go through two beads. So it's a really simple rule. And let me repeat it. Take two beads, go through two beads in this direction. 
Okay. Then go through the last green bead. Or diagonally through one bead in this direction. Not through the one that's the opposite of this that I'm exiting out of, but diagonally to, to the upper one. Okay. Or here it is the last one. Then again, I take two. I go through two in this direction. And then I go here diagonally, not through this one that is straight in a straight line with this green that I'm exiting out of, but through the one that is diagonally and which is the last one. So here I'm going through one. Go here through two and up through one. Only the last step is different because here I take two. I go through two. This is the same. And then I go diagonally through the bead, through the yellow bead, but it is not the last one because here I'm stepping up in my next row. So only at the last step I go down through two and go up through two. And in the previous steps, as I will show you again, I'm going down through two beads. You see? And I'm going up through one bead. Only at the last step. I go through two. In these steps, I go in this direction through two. Now my thread is three beads away from here, but I'm going through these two. And then I go through the orange, through one, through the last one. Then again, I take two orange beads. I go through those two orange beads like this. And then guys, here I'm going through two. I'm still going diagonally through the one that's next to the one I'm exiting out of. But I'm also going through the following one because I'm stepping up in my next row and you could do it in one movement. Okay. Now, again, I will show you one more row. I'm taking two, going back through two, fixing those a little bit. And in this direction, I'm going, one, go going through one because this is the diagonal one and I don't have the one after that which is from my next row okay now I take two go back through two then I go through the one which is the diagonal one and it is the last one of my orange color then I'm going to and if you remember, when I reach my A color, or in this case, my yellow color, I go back through two in this direction, not through one, like I did in my previous two steps. And you see how my twist is forming. So I will repeat those steps and I will have 60 rows. And when I reach 60 rows, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm until the 59th row. If you're making a bracelet, you should make it really longer, maybe three times uh, this long. Uh, it depends on your wrist, by the way. And now I will show you the 60th row. I'm taking two of my color A, go back through two, And in this direction through one. I'm taking again two. 
go back through two and in this direction through one then again I take two go back through two and then in this direction I go through the one that's diagonal of my bit that I'm exiting out of and through the next one so uh, this is all of it if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video from the beginning and repeat 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 and now guys I'm going to put my needle on this end of my work and I'll be back okay and I put here the needle on the short part of my thread the back part you see this is the main part that I'm doing uh, the end and this is the beginning of my bracelet and what I want to do is cut this thread and how I cut it I go in this direction I zigzag through as many beads as I can by the way you could make a small knot if you want or you could use this approach of zigzagging through the beads and when you feel that your work is secure you could uh, take your scissors and cut this thread because otherwise um, it will make it really complicated to attach your earring to attach it like this okay now i will put my needle back here on this thread and i'll be back okay guys and i'm here where i want to connect those parts with this part the beginning so uh, this is the end this is the beginning and i want to connect the yellow color so i fix it to stay next to each other and i'm going in this direction exiting out of this yellow i'm going in this direction through one bead then i'm going back through the other yellow okay like this then guess what i'm going in this direction but this time i'm going through two like i did before and it will want to go out but will pull it in this direction to fix it okay then what i do is when i reach the green color is that i will go through the first of my green just through one okay then i will flip it like this so my green beads should meet okay like this and then I go through here, through just one green. You see how I'm, I'm turning them in this direction to be easier to see. Then I go through one here and through two here. You see what I do? Let me focus. Okay. then what I do in my next step is that I turn my work so my orange beads should meet here and I will go through this orange well I know that my thread shows a little bit but for tutorial purposes I prefer to show you with darker thread on a white back background so you could see better if you want you could use other thread so now i'm using this one i'm going through one orange in this direction i'm going back through the neighbor one okay and then here what I do is that I go through two orange beads. Okay. 
then if you remember I went through the yellow one through two beads okay okay and now my work is closed but I will go reinforcing it several times and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I reinforced my work several times here at the connection point then I went up to here away from the connection because I want to attach my earring finding and I need a place where my beads are with less thread pads going through them so I chose this place here where the yellow and the green meet and what I'm going to do is take orange yellow green then I'm going to find to take my earring finding slide it down then again I take orange yellow and green slide it down as well okay and I want to go let's say here to connect my work like this then I want to go one more time and reinforce this loop here it doesn't matter through which bit you go just uh, to be comfortable through to go through it okay and you could repeat this three or more times then um, you could go and zigzag through the beads and cut your thread or you might decide to make a small knot but from the inner side of your work let's say here and how I'm making it here I make a loop and I go once and I go second time through the loop I've made and I pull then what I do is that I go through the following seed beads and then I cut my thread as close as possible to my work okay and now my herringbone my twisted herringbone seed beads earrings are ready okay guys and now my twisted herringbone rope or tube earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button and in this way you will see matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done like i will make probably later a bracelet matching these earrings so that is why it's a good idea to hit the bell and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on facebook and instagram and link to my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from